back, finally got the bolts. So, this is what we were waiting on the entire time. It's this little box. With these four. Two different sizes. One for the AVCS and one for the ones without, so intake and exhaust cams. Decided to do all four because I figured, frick, if I broke one, I might break another one. So now I gotta take the old three out that are already in, put these new ones in, and put the gates timing belt back on. I already installed all the pulleys and everything for that. So we'll fast forward through me putting these on. Alright, so there we go. Got the four finally on. Finally got them. If you notice, the ones with the ABCS have the holes in the center and they're longer. So if you do screw it up, they won't fit. But just to keep in mind. The next thing is actually putting the timing belt on. Now, the new one we have is a Gates timing belt. And this is actually really nice because if you look, right there see that there's dotted and then there's arrows that means that part goes on the crank and that's the direction it goes then if you go further there's a line that's going to go on your first cam another line it's going to line up with your second cam so on and so forth that's how you line it up so I searched the internet for friggin hours trying to get an exact answer and everyone's like oh you gotta do this this and that it's actually really easy. So if you did screw up your cams or anything like that, here's going to be like a three minute shoot on exactly what to do. So, just like this. I have no idea if it's lined up right. But they did pin every single cam and the crankshaft. So all of those have to be in the exact same spot. And there's two marks and one mark on every cam. And I'll show you where those line up. Here's your white mark and right next to it is an actual indentation in the cam sprocket. Now if you notice there's a mark just like it up here on top. So those two line up. Then you go to this one. Now gosh darn. Alright. So even though you have an like this one has an aftermarket sprocket, the stock ones come the same. You have these two marks right here. And then you look you have one mark right there. So these two line up with those two right there on this top cam. So this one's loose just like that. Now the timing belt with the white marks is going to line up right on those and fit into the sprocket so you don't have to count the teeth of the actual gears. Now your crank has one mark, an arrow, and like ND. The mark you line up is the top mark with that mark right there. So you go over here Here's your double mark. So it's going to line up down here with this double mark. Here's your single mark. It's going to line up here. Your single mark is going to line up down there with your belt. Or no, sorry. This single mark lines up right there with that mark on the side. And your belt will have a mark on every one. So these, everyone's like, oh, you got to rotate it one way. You can't rotate it the other. They say the valves will hit each other, but the simplest way to do it is just turn it the least direction. So if I want these marks down here, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm going to go right there. Same with these, I'm going to go right there. Then they don't hit. And if anyone says they do, I've done it quite a few times. No contact whatsoever, so they're just full of it. So now you can watch me struggle to put it on. So now I'm going to show you what that looks like. Alright. So. There's your mark. There's the timing belt line. There's the hash that it lines up with. You go down here. There's your two marks. There's your two marks, they're hard to see. There's your one mark. There's your one mark. 
There's your one mark in the plastic. Come up here. There's your mark. Here's your dotted lines. There's your other mark right there. Come over here. Here's your mark. The plastic, not the color. Line, mark. Down here, double marks line up. Now this adjusts my timing. That's why it's a hair off. And then you got this mark. Get this huge freaking tripod around here. You can't see that. Come on. Well, you'll just have to trust me. I can't see it in the camera. There's a little bit. There's a mark right there and a mark on the plastic. That's how you line it up. So, so once it's lined up, you can go ahead and pull your pin. I've already compressed it and released it three times, nice and slowly in a vise. Re put the pin in. That's to get any air bubbles out. That's what the manual says to do. But yeah, it's really nice with the lines. So make sure to get the gates timing belt. And that's on automafiaracing.com. Great product. These lines help out. You don't have to count the teeth. You know which way it's going. You just line them up. Makes it way, way easier. So definitely recommend that. Alright, pull the pin. Just like that, we're good.